Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you are doing well. So, Taurus, this reading will be for you if you have any Taurus placements or if you're dealing with a Taurus. All right, guys, so I'm going to do a general reading for you today. Okay, I'm going to jump straight into it. I just ask you to please like the video, okay? Um, and share it with another Taurus if you feel like it's also for them. All right, guys, let's get into your reading. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, we've got two angel numbers to start with. Fourteen, number 14 and number 8. So number 14 says, I am practical. You are open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things, okay? Uh, this pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention and efforts are meaningful, okay? Love that. And then we have number 8. It says here, I, I am successful, your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. Something just went in my eye. Sorry. Mm -mm. All right. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Okay. Uh, representing the ebb and flow. The infinite loop of creation. Okay, guys, under, that's also like understanding that sometimes there's highs, sometimes there's lows, but we keep it moving, we keep it pushing, yeah? Okay, uh, there's really something in my eye, hold on. It was an eyelash. Anyways, guys, so let's see what's going on with you. Let's start with some tarot. What's coming up for Taurus, please? Some of you guys are like in a dream um state things don't seem very um real or realistic yeah um the reason why i'm saying that i just heard i haven't got this for a while because there was a little phase while i was hearing nursery rhymes and now it makes sense to me because i'm a, I'm pregnant um it's not always it's not always about me of course not but like i just heard row 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 your boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream or life is like a dream, whatever it is, yeah? There's something about the state that you're in, the mental state is like some things, and some of you guys, it could be as simple as you're meditating or you're experiencing things that are quite, um, maybe your emotions are high or something like that. And it's like, it's almost like you're not as grounded and not, not even in a, in a negative way, but you know, there's sometimes where in life things happen and we don't always feel ground, grounded or our feet are on the ground, okay? Something like that's happening. Some of you guys might have found out that, um, you know, maybe you just got engaged and you fall over the moon, like you're, you're up, you're on cloud nine, for example, you know? Or some of you guys, you could have found out there's a new addition to the family or that you guys were approved for, you know, a mortgage or a loan or something like that, or just pass your exams and you're just over the moon. It could be something like that, okay? It's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this, okay? All right. Tell me about Taurus, please. The moon. Okay, I just also had shut up and put up, so... <sighs> shut up and put up. So that makes me feel like it's like, if there's a situation that's going on in your life right now, um, it's, especially if you do have control over that, you, something's within your power. Um, it's you or, so, or somebody else. You could be saying this to somebody else, like you know, why are you complaining about the same thing, or what you're gonna do about it? Why are you complaining about the same issue and over and over again? What you're gonna do? Shut up or put up? You, do you know what I mean? So, um, something about that's coming up. So we have the moon here. So there could be something like coming up to the surface here, something that needs to come up, something that needs to be expressed. Also another emotional card. Tell me more please. The page of Pentacles. So this is hap this will happen in, in in let's just say in someone's own time, in your own time. Okay. Um Christmas time, the uh Christmas holidays is a very sensitive time for a lot of people. Okay, for many different reasons. You know, um, you know, regarding family, finances and stuff like that, health, 
maybe you're living quite far from your family, all those types of things, yeah? Um, it's a sensitive time for a lot of people. So that could be some, one of the reasons why it's coming up right now. Tell me more, please. We have the Six of Cups, yeah. So it's something to do with your past that you're, you're, um, you're in your head about. And if it's not you, Taurus, it could be somebody that's very close to you experiencing this and it could be affecting you as well because you care, you're, you're concerned about this person, you love them, right? Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, could be a, a Earth sign. Okay, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Could be about a child as well, a childhood. Yeah. Tell me more, please. The King of Wands. The Four of Wands. Something's motivating you also. I don't, I feel like if you are in that state of mind, some of you guys that could have been here the last few weeks, a month or two, okay, wherever you're at in, in, in this journey, I feel like you will become much more um, focused and driven, okay, oh, ebb and, ebb, ebbs and fl flows, okay, that's what I said earlier, I said sometimes there's highs, sometimes there's lows, but we keep put pushing, and it's showing there again, it's showing there again, okay? King of Wands and the Four of Wands. I do feel like there will be more stability. Why? Because you'll make sure of it, okay? Um, like I said, sometimes it's like, what are we going to do about it? There's certain things uh, going on. Certain things are within our power. Some things are not. And we have to be patient and allow things to play out or, or happen or whatever it is, okay? But I do feel like there is more stability, OK, but it's because of your drive or the drive around you. It could be um, uh, it could be more like a family, a family thing where you guys are all working together in regards to something. OK, I'd love to know what that's about. Also, there could be a marriage that's coming up for somebody here or moving in, uh, renovating the house, moving home. OK, those things can also be going on. Put the page of swords here. King of swords. I just heard too many opinions, too many, too many, um, too many people um, involved in something here. Um, someone's being a little bit. Someone's being um, got this poker face about them. It or it feels like there's something that's happening within your. I want to say your family. Yeah within your family, whether it be immediate or extended, whatever it be, yeah? But I feel like there's someone here that may be quite controlling it and a little bit um, not as open and it feels like a lot. there's a lot of hearsay and a lot of confusion there. Tell me more. The tower, yeah, okay. There's a power struggle here. Um, I'm not sure if it's happen happening right now or if this has been happening or if it's coming up. There's a power struggle. Something's happened. Um, it could be something to do with the home, the family, whatever, the emotions. I'm not, sh I'm not sure. It'd be different for all of you. But there's something that's happened here that's out of someone's control. So it is showing me now that it's something that's out of your control. You have no power over this, okay? Whatever has happened was going to happen. And I feel like somebody, is, someone's here... I, I have to go with the energy that I feel. I do feel like this King of Swords here on the Page of Swords next to it. Someone is very, I do want to say controlling. Maybe they say the right things. Tell me more, please. The Queen of Cups. The Death card. It's about something that's changed in your life, um, Taurus. For some of you guys, um, it's about someone that you loved, somebody that passed away. Okay, this is what it's about. After the tower, we've got the Queen of Cups and the Death card. Some of you guys are going through what I'm also going through. Some of you guys, you may, I, I have read your comments. Some of you guys, you know, I read, um, some of you guys, it's the anniversary of, of passing of a mother, a father, a child for some of you, you know. Um, something's coming up and it's really triggering you guys or this person or, or a few of you, yeah, involved in this. Um, 
something to do with um, some kind of permanent change, okay? Um, some of you guys, it is a passing, okay? Some of you, uh, you know, somebody's passed away. Some of you guys, it's... Um, it's almost like a door's being closed, okay? And as much as you may want to go and open that door, it, you have to move forward. Um, and I feel like some of you... It just... It feels like it sucks. There's someone here that is... Very different to how you are, Taurus. There's someone that... There's, some, there's, a, there's a person who's got a very strong... Uh, got just a strong energy maybe the strong presence okay about them and you're all in it so some of you guys it could be like a father figure a, a grandparent a, a, a brother a sister yeah it's something someone in the family or some of you guys it could be a partner or something like that yeah but you guys are dealing with it very differently tell, tell me more please the hanged man The Six of Swords. Some of you guys are really trying your best to um, go about it in a different way. You're really trying your best to um, observe things and try to move forward. And it's funny because I mentioned about that, that door that can't be opened anymore, that door that's locked now, that stage, that phase that, that's done, okay? Um, and then we've got the Six of Swords. Is there moving on. On top of it, it's the King of Wands. So it does show me that you do still have... Um, that fight within you, Taurus. What is going on, guys? What is going on? Please let me know in the comments um, what this is for you because it will be different to everybody. Um, I'm glad that, I, you know, I was lying in my bed, guys, and I was like, should I do it? It's about, I think it's about midnight now, about midnight, and I was like, let me do a reading. Um, let me know what's going on. The lovers. Some of you guys might be focusing more on a relationship right now or, or nurturing a relationship. Some of you guys, you're going to see a Gemini. or um, Some of you guys, there may also be talks about moving in with a partner. I'm not sure if that's you or someone that's close to you that you're dealing with. And maybe that's, this is also impacting your life as well. Yeah. Um. The High Priestess. Okay, thank you. That Those combination, those four cards are really standing up to me right now. Uh, the Four of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Lovers and the High Priestess. It makes me feel like there's... a there's. I mentioned that in the, in the relationship portion yesterday for you guys or the day before. No, it was yesterday. Um, about the, a relationship and somebody is quite private and you guys are working things out together. Oh, no, that was Gemini. I beg your pardon. Some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, or a Pisces. We also got Leo here. Could be another air sign, Aquarius, uh, Libra. Doesn't have to be. Um... Someone's trying to avoid gossip or rumours here. Um, tell me more. I have to, I'm going to move on, okay? So, tell me what else is going on. Ace of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. It's crazy. Okay, so <laughs> whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, I see whoever is... Whoever, um, whether it's you or somebody else that you're also in a connection with, I do see um, a lot of hard work going on. So it's like, regardless of what's going on, you guys are still, and it showed that as well with the King of Wands there. I did feel like that. I've got that energy. It's showing again that you guys will keep moving forward. I do see more opportunities in regards to work, okay? Um, your work life, your money, okay, will be increasing, So if you guys are connecting with the Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, work will be improving. So if you have any anxiety or worry about that, I wouldn't worry. I'm not worried about that for you. I'm not. OK, I'm not.
I'm getting listen to your heart, especially in regards to your work and how you make money. Listen to your heart, okay? Um, not just this time, like throughout the years. Listen to your heart. Do you feel good? This is making you feel happy. Yeah, okay. I, I never really get that message for like money, but you know, anything else you can tell me for Taurus? The Three of Cups, there's something that you will be celebrating, okay? So it could be, like I said, it could be um, or a get-together as well, some kind of get-together. It could be a celebration of a marriage, of life, okay? It could, be, um, uh, it could be a baby shower, it could be graduation, it could be um, someone getting their first job, yeah? So, you know, something like that. Something to be celebrated coming up as well, which is lovely. Um, so if you guys are probably reconnecting or connecting with friends a bit more, it is it is a Christmas holiday, so or family, yeah, yeah. You guys are gonna really need that. The seven of wands. The knight of swords. I did mention that, not your last reading, the reading before, I was wearing a salmon pink dress. And I said to you, I said to you, there's going to be people that are going to reconnect with you in this month. And it showed me that again, three of cups, seven of wands and the knight of swords. Um, some of you guys may be standoffish. And I, I mentioned this in your reading yesterday about the whole healing thing. And some people... The thing is, sometimes we will disconnect from people. When we change things about ourselves, naturally, we'll push some people, not not purposely, but, you know, if we're both into different things, naturally, we will kind of, like, you know, go our own way at some point. But it doesn't always mean forever. Sometimes it's temporary. Sometimes it's for weeks, months, years, a decade. Who knows? That is really irrelevant, like the time period, okay? Because it's not for us to focus on that. It's for us to do things. But I do feel like there's people coming to speak to you. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, yeah? Or a water sign. It doesn't have to be. But there's someone here. I want to say that you've known them. Um, I kind of want to... I don't want to kind of, like... Lim uh, restrict the message but I want to say like at least since your 20s some of you guys if you're in your teens then I don't know what to say but like you've known this person in your youth okay I want to say that to these people that you may have blocked and stuff like that but they are going to reach out to you okay it could be like hey Taurus Merry Christmas Happy New Year to you I hope this you know stuff like that but you will be receiving um communication from people from your past okay um, and I feel like, I do feel like, I want to say this, how you choose to respond to these people will say a lot about where you are, okay, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually right now at this moment, okay, whenever they reach out, okay, um, and that, I think that will be a great time for you to um, say, okay, no, I like how I went about that. Or if you're like, oh, okay, I didn't like how I felt, how I responded. Um, it's a great time to reassess where, um, what you need to do moving forward, okay? Um, I'm sure many of you guys have had to do this. I've definitely had to do that, okay? Um, so, um I do want to say when these people from your past reach out to you, how you respond to them, how you choose to respond to them will say a lot about where you're at right now on your healing journey. OK, and there will be people and you have like. I know I always get a comment like, oh, I don't want to hear from my ex. I'm not talking about no damn stinking, cheating, playing ex who messed you. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about the people that maybe really didn't get you at the time or the people that maybe you guys had a few differences but now you're older now you know and you both did care about the relationship but maybe um you guys for whatever reason didn't understand what you're going through or didn't have the patience or whatever or you both needed different things 
I'm talking about those kind of connections, okay? Like we all know what stinking dirty ex not to talk to. So that's, that's, I don't want to hear about that, okay? Don't even bother, right? If, uh, look, yeah, let's be sensible now, okay? Anyways, it will, sh it will tell you a lot, okay? Because some people are wondering, how am I doing? How am I doing? And, you know, different, ex different, um, different, events different things that happen in our life will always let us know how we're doing okay and also how people uh, respond to us okay now so anyways i promise you i don't care about any ex or toxic person that's not that's i promise you i don't care okay all right i'm gonna move on thank you Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Oh my God, I said this before. No, this is creepy. This is just confirming literally what I said. I think it was two or three readings ago. I can't remember. But I will say you're going to have the time of your life with someone or people some of you guys, it's going to be a friend. Some of you guys, it's going to be, um, it could even be like an ex that you're now cool with and you're like, hey, we can get on and there's no, nothing bad there or whatever, yeah, because, you know, not every not every ex is bad. I've got an ex or two that I'm cool with. Do you know what I mean? I'm, you know, we're happy, we respect each other and, yeah. So, but I, <laughs> what I want to say as well, so let's put the friendships aside. I'm going to say for the ones who, let's just say single ones, single Tauruses and the ones that are in a relationship. So maybe you guys might be getting some good sex, okay? Um, around, uh, over the Christmas holiday, yeah? Um, maybe dates coming up for the singles and couples, who, regardless, yeah? Uh, it could be with a fire sign, water sign, yeah, we've got strong Leo energy here again. Um, it could be somebody with a fiery energy, someone who's quite outgoing, someone who's quite um, active as well, okay? I do notice that, like, when I say fire signs and air signs are very similar, um, the more you know them, I'm sure many of you guys, if you th really think about it, like, they are, okay? Energetically, um, when it comes to, like, so many different things anyway, they're very, very similar, yeah? Um, as are earth and water signs, yeah? All right, anyways, tell me more, please. We've got the... Listen, listen to this. We've got the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Empress. Some of you guys may hear about a pregnancy. Some of you guys, you may get the shock of your life. Some of you guys are good. Some of you guys may not even be trying. And this is how it goes. I'm sure you're, you're aware as well. Okay. You know, it takes one time to get pregnant. Yeah. You ain't got to try a million times. Okay. I know everyone's different, but like generally it takes the one time. Yeah. To get pregnant. Yeah. It can take the one time, but normally. Yeah. When I say, guys, you might, and some of you guys, you may be grandmothers, again, uh, grandfathers, okay, an uncle, and aunt, yeah, uh, um, a new mum, a new dad, okay, so congratulations in advance, let me know, okay, let me know, please, like to hear about that. Um, if you're not, if you're not ready for kids, strap up, because you could be very uh, fertile, or, yeah, man or woman, okay, strap up. If you're not ready for no kids, you know how they're made. You know how kids are made, so please let nobody play pay full when someone ends up pregnant, yeah? All right? We all know how kids are made, yeah? So, not like, oh, oh let me not even say these things. Oh, can I say? I can say it. I don't want to hear, oh, I pulled out or, you know, or... I, 
Nah, listen, people know how kids are made, yeah, so don't, no one play fool. I've already told you, yeah, I already said to you, so, and the way the cards are, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands and the Empress, there's something about fertility that's strong and, yeah, all right, let's, let's keep it moving. Tell me another message, please. The Knight of Wands, the Two of Wands, listen. Some of you guys might be feel like letting your hair down or whatever. Yeah, I do see a quite relaxed energy, okay, if you will, um, that you'll be in. Or it could be somebody else that you connect with that and they're in that energy that kind of makes you feel like you're in that energy or that space as well. Um Knight of Wands and the Two of Wands. Know what you're doing, guys, yeah? That's all I'm saying. And if you're... And there's no point of being scared because people... Ha there's, there's so much different contraception out there. Oh, I don't want another kid. No, that's fine. Use use something, yeah? I can't... I, I'm done. I, I'm done. Next, please. There's, there are eight of... The Eight of Swords. Why? Okay. The Eight of Swords. If that's not what you want, please, please know what you're doing, yeah? Because that's come out now. And if you don't want that, if you've raised your kids and you don't want another one, or some of you guys, it could be your grandparents, some of you guys, it could be your kids, yeah? Your, your, your adult children, yeah? And it's them like, oh, mum, I'm pregnant. These times, it's like they're fifth or sixth, and you're like, well, look... I've been raising kids for the last 40, 50, 60 years. Yeah, I need a break, yeah? So you guys go about it the way you see fit. But I'm just saying, yeah, it, lo it looks like some people might be conceiving quite a few people, yeah? So just be mindful. Congratulations if you're pregnant already or if your person's pregnant. Congratulations to you. <coughs> I'll get a last message, okay? I'm, I'm doing a short reading for you today. Okay. The Hierophant. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. The Nine of Cups and the Emperor. Woo. Slowly does it. Okay. Slowly does it. And I've, I said that as well before. Um, the Hierophant, Knight of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups and the Emperor. There could be a situation where you become, you get into a connection where it, um, I'm not sure, or if you're in a relationship, it's going to continue. Okay, so I'll put that aside for couples. If you're in a relationship, I see that continuing. All right, for the singles, I do see like there's a opportunity to be in a relationship. There's definitely a connection coming up if you're not in one already. Yeah, take your time. Enjoy, enjoy things as they are. No rushing. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Take your time, enjoy the moment, yeah? The Emperor. I do feel like that will allow you to be more in control of your emotions. It's like, let me put it like this. You know, like when you say, for example, if you're running or you're rushing through life, you don't always get time to smell the daisies or appreciate what's really going on around you, yeah? Or if you're about to drop, if you're running, it's very likely you're gonna drop, yeah? If you're walking slower, you can catch yourself, yeah? And you won't drop, okay? So there's there's pros and cons to it. Yeah. I just noticed something there as well. It's like, that's a sign for fertili fertility as well. So... I do want to say things are improving. I do see a connection coming up, but don't rush it. Don't rush, um, you know, anything too quickly, okay? Um, try to respect each other's um, pace. But at the same time, if you feel like someone's kind of, you know, messing you around, then you know what to do, okay? You know what to do. Yeah, I'm not going to tell grown people what to do now. But I want to say enjoy time you have with somebody. It could be a Aries, Taurus, 
Uh, could be a water sign. Yeah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a Virgo as well, or Capricorn. Don't have to be, but... Somebody, uh, whoever this person is, they are... Um, they will like commitment, okay? They will not want to be rushed, okay? They do think things through thoroughly, okay? They've got energy, regardless of their age, whether they're 20 or, or, or 70, 80, yeah? My neighbour over there, he's in his 70s, yeah? He's more active than me. He's out every day, yeah? And he's 70. He's 40 years older than me, okay? Active. Regardless of the age, yeah, this person... They're energetic. They do like um, commitment, okay? They also, what I like about this person, they enjoy their own time as well, as much as they do other people's, um, they, they enjoy their own, yeah, their own, uh, their own time, their own space, their own energy, yeah? Or am I lost for words? Anyways, anyways, but... They are quite particular about um, their love interests. Um, so if they're rushed in any kind of way, it will frighten them. It will startle them. OK, and they may start acting a little bit out of character. So um, I want to say and a cross watcher could be you who's watching and you feel like that's you or you feel like that's a Taurus. That's cool. However, you want to flip the roles. You do what you need to do with the story. Yeah. But I do feel like um, they won't appreciate um, somebody pushing themselves up into um, their life. They want it. They want it to be like you know. I is like you know. They, they don't. I want to say they don't need somebody, but they want somebody. Okay, they want somebody. Yeah, it's not like oh, I have to have a boyfriend. I have to because there's people like that who have to just be in a relationship, and they're not somebody like that. OK, um, they're OK with being by themselves. OK, and they need I do feel like they will at times need their own space. That's very important to them. Very likely with you as well, Taurus. So different hobbies and stuff like that. And, you know, if you've got other things going on, both of you, that's great. This person will really enjoy the, the pace, OK, uh, a slower pace. Yeah. They don't, they're not into the whole love bombing and rushing business, yeah? And if you have been in a relationship before with somebody who's done that to you and they showed you all this love straight um, early on, it may confuse some people when somebody else moves slow. Um, it doesn't mean this person doesn't like you. It just means that they really do want to get to know you and see how you can fit into each other's life, okay? That's all it is, yeah? All right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, I am doing personal readings, okay, so all the information will be in the description. Thank you to everybody that's donating, um, donating, contributing towards my father's funeral. All the information for the PayPal and the GoFundMe is in the description also. All right, guys, have an amazing week and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.